Okay, so you can see some other uploads that are taking place right there. Forget about that. Let's get into Microsoft. Microsoft showed off their E3 conference. I'll talk about all of that. They started off with Halo. Halo was good, although there was a lot of purple. I don't understand why. They also showed off the whole first stage and the boss. That was kind of nice. They also showed off all of the different aspects of the game, like different vehicles you could use and stages and development. They, they spent like at least 10, 15 minutes. Then we also have Phil Spencer telling us that backward compatibility is there, but they pull the wool over all you people's eyes because the fact is you can play Xbox 360 games on the Xbox One, but there only is a variety of games and it depends on the publishers, just like how Sony's deal. So they hyped everyone up saying you can put any disc inside and then they pull back on it. Hope you guys actually saw that. Moving from this, we also saw some Fallout 4. People thought it's going to be the same content. It wasn't. It was brand new content. They showed us Xbox One content that was nice and they also showed us some in gameplay um they say shooting put that way they also showed us plant but zombies no one really cared about that they showed us forza no one really cared about that they showed us uh, some more world premiers such as dark souls 3 but sony immediately posted on their, on their twitter account that it's not an exclusive even though they showed it off as an exclusive for xbox then we also had a lot of indie developers coming out onto the stage and with this whole indie thing that's actually taking place they were trying to cover up their bases because, as you guys know, when the Xbox One came out, no one really cared about Indies, and now so now you care about Indies. Uh, together with this, they also showed a lot of stuff that was exclusive to Windows 10 and Xbox One. So it's not truly exclusive to the console. You can still have a PC to play all these games, which I thought was kind of stupid. Uh, and I'm happy that when you looked at the Rainbow Six Siege, there were two other free games that come with it if you buy it for the Xbox One. That is real, and that is good. I would say that the MOBA they showed off was just called Gigantic. That looked really good as well. But again, it's all PC games. It's games you can't play on a PC. Then they tried to pull a wool over your eyes again by telling you that they're bringing something more exclusive, which is called Xbox Game Preview, which is just early access. You can play games from developers, and you guys can enjoy that, but it is exactly what is on Steam. And it also shows some developers can make games, and you guys can play it. It's not fully done, and then they can walk away because you already made the purchase, just like how people are actually exploiting on Steam. They also show some Tomb Raider, a lot of Tomb Raider, a lot of snow content. I don't know. You guys can take that from them. And then they also showed us Banjo Kazooie and a couple other games like Battletoads. People thought that they are going to be remade. Nothing. No remake. It's just it's just taking all the games, packaging them up onto a disc, and you can play it. But it's the same old boring ass games. Uh, more from this, they also showed us an exclusive from Fable Legends. That was a nice trailer. They also showed us, and they showed us the Microsoft Hololens, which is Minecraft, uh, showing how you can build it up in a disc. I guess kids will enjoy that, but I don't know because the cost wise for you to get that 3D system running, it's gonna cost a lot of money for you to actually purchase all of the stuff. And then another hit and highlight was Gears of War. They showed us the Ultimate Edition, and they also showed us the new game that's coming out. So I would say, all in all, Microsoft may have won this based on just some things that they pulled over your eyes, such as the compatibility. People are going home thinking all oh, games are compatible. Not true. Right now, there's only 100 games on the list. Uh, moving from this, they also told you that uh, Dark Souls is an exclusive, which is not true. So give me a comment down below. I, I'm trying to do this feature right now because the internet is really slow. So I'm thinking, run it through live stream so it can get faster onto the channel. So let me know your comments down below, and uh, now let me look for how to shut this thing down. This is the new way of running it right now. So yeah, later.